Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to discuss about the what are the some types of API testing, right? So this is probably the one of the important question that uh, generally interviewer ask about you that okay, what are the different types of API testing? And please explain me one by one what exactly you do, right? So in this video, we are going to cover all of it. Uh, what kind of different types of API testing? So let's get started. All right, all right, guys. So let's move on to the or favorite mind map tool, right? Which I generally like. So uh, these are the major types of API testing generally we do. So whenever we have any kind of API automation framework that we have created or any kind of a API that we get from developers to test it out, right? So we generally do these kind of testing. Where if we talk about we have validation testing, functional, uh, low testing, security, runtime errors, pe penetration testing, first testing and integration with UI, right? And uh, it's totally depend upon the couple uh, upon the your company, right? How many types of it actually API testing that you support, right? Uh, uh, in my experience, I have seen that okay, uh, people mostly do uh, mostly software testers. They do functional testing as well as validations and a couple of things related to like integration with the UI testing rather than like low testing, security testing. They are that is the out of scope for their API testing, right? Uh, project that they are doing so it's totally depend upon you how you basically want to do it and it's totally depend upon your company in that case right so let's get started with exactly what is validation testing so let me go through one by one and exactly give you it just about it what exactly they are right you should know it because uh probably this is one of the uh, interview question that uh, probably the first interview question that you will encounter whenever you are uh, basically giving that uh uh, that okay you have worked with api testing right so this is this is exactly they want to know right so uh validation testing so what exactly we are doing in the validation testing so let me zoom it out so let me make it like this i think yeah so in validation testing basically what we are doing is that uh, we are basically asking a question from ourselves right is the api is working as expected from the requirement so whatever the requirement that we have got got uh, the requirement that you can get in it probably in a jira format jira right or probably you will get a certain kind of a square swagger documentation sometimes people right now get a postman documentation right or there can be a brd which is called as business requirement document right so you will get these requirements and you have to check or validate that okay this api is working as expected or not so that's the important thing that you have to keep in mind in that case right so uh now the second validation that you mostly do is that all the data that is coming in the request and response it's valid right and in the validation mostly we basically verify the behavior of an api and it should match with the requirements that's it so it should match with the requirements and we should have a valid responses as well as the request so that's what exactly we are checking in the validation test make sense right so let's uh come to the functional testing this is one of the important thing and where most of the time you will be doing these kind of uh, testing right so the first one is basically keys and values validation where you verify your json for example if you are getting uh, any kind of a json response you are checking out okay is the keys are valid if values are valid uh, all the required fields required keys are coming optional fields are optional in nature or not you basically verify your JSON, your XML, your JSON schema validation, right? So these all the things mostly that uh, you do uh, is in fall under the category of functional testing. So you have to tell your interviewer that, okay, most of the time we'll doing, we are doing uh, functional testing in that case, right? So we verify edge cases, we verify tests, uh, we will basically check for the specific function of API to verify it is working logically right we verify headers parameters requests response right couple of things that uh, like lots of different test cases that we do so api testing is nothing different from a, any kind of a different e testing right so whatever the testing that you do for example you apply black book testing techniques like boundary value equivalence partition on all you can do that same thing in this functional testing that you are doing right so you can implement all those concepts into it so Apart from it, if you want to learn about the blackboard testing and how, what kind of test cases that we have in APIs, I'll highly recommend you to watch, go to the playlist section and check out the 30 days of API testing with Postman. This is one of the series where we will discuss about uh, the different concepts and definitely you want to master the API testing in that case, right? So uh, this is, this was about the functional test. So what, let's 
talk about the what exactly is a load testing and uh, how do we do basically uh, what exactly we are testing it right so if we talk about in the load testing um, most of the time people want to know that okay if suppose right now uh, 10 users starts coming or 10 user per second this uh, api is getting used right so how is your api is behaving how your server was able to understand the request and is your uh, server is capable of and uh, handling these kind of request if we basically make uh, if we try to increase the load right what will happen in that case so these kind of scenario generally falls under the load testing and which tool we use we mostly use jmeter in this case right and you can use gatling also which is again a awesome tool for perform any kind of a load testing you can check out my other tutorials if you want to get started with the api testing with jmeter right so we'll check with the regular traffic we we'll check with the peak traffic with the apis right peak traffic basically means like 100 users per second they are starting using it your apis what will happen in that case you will basically check out right in that case so that's what we can do so security testing is one of the important thing and i'm going to give you one important thing here Uh, one important checklist also so uh, in security testing most of the time what we do is that we verify the owasp top 10 vulnerabilities like uh, idor uh, broken inter- authentication right they are like top 10 owasp uh, security vulnerabilities that we will be mostly checking apart from this we basically che- check whether okay there is a particular uh, if the valid or uh, authentication tech token that we are using in these apis right if they are expired or not right uh, we basically check for if they are if these apis are secure or not uh, if there is a idor attack which is indirect object reference right these it's possible on this we basically verify if uh, sql injection or these kind of stuff uh, non secure resources are uh, if we have a non secure resources in these apis right uh, and uh, this is the loose list of uh, oas top 10 uh, where we mostly verify all the things related to it okay so you can go to it and the tool generally we use is burb trust me guys uh, try to learn the burb and uh, we get a basic basic understanding and if you are a if you are a, uh, any kind of automation tester if you try to give these kind of test cases to your security team they will okay they will be very impressed by you that okay you know how to perform certain kind of a security testing of your apis right so that's where it is handy and one more thing uh, you can get this api security checklist uh, you can go to this link tdo tdo.ly slash uimd uh, where you'll get a, a handy checklist how to perform a security test for your apis okay so make sure you do that okay so let's quickly jump to the runtime ex- exception it is very simple uh, basically we verify if uh, what will happen if there is a invalid request what will happen to the null request right empty request in legal data or any kind of a uh, any kind of a bad data or bad or i would say naughty or dirty strings or any things that we have entered into your uh, apis right what will happen in that case so instead of key we will send some random garbage value what will happen in that case so that's and what kind of error that you are basically your api is giving giving you right so that's actually we are testing it out in the in this runtime as well as error error detection so we want to check if there is a particular error or a runtime detection occurs if we assign these kind of invalid dirty data right so penetration testing is nothing but finding this when uh, finding security vulnerabilities right that can exploit for example uh, you can access a admin resources of your api that you can check you can check for sql injections through apis uh if there is a particular data manipulation that you can do using the apis right if secure resources you are able to access or not so you try to penetrate into these apis so that you can get access to the secure resources like your db and, uh, and other things right so that's what we are checking in this penetration testing right so uh the next one is basically the first testing which is nothing but uh, checking out a, any kind of a invalid unexpected random data uh will basically try to add any kind of a random unexpected values to these api and try to see if uh how is our apis are behaving in that case right so you can check out you can go to t.ly/capitalwsbv uh, uh, where you we have a sc- couple of more tutorials about how you can perform first testing with apis so i i would recommend you to watch it uh last one is very uh, straight forward it basically integration with the ui it basically means that how is your api is behaving when it is getting integrated with your ui layer right so apis if you know they basically resides in the business layer 
right and now what will happen is that okay now they are integrated with your ap uh, with your ui layer right? so what will happen in that case you have to check it out or there can be a case where this api is getting used by another api right so how these integration is happening here right so example if you see uh, we have a dem uh, we have this uh, this for example this is a pet uh, api which is getting used by another sso api right so how this one api is getting consumed and handled by the other one we can have to test it out so these these kind of type of testing is also there so validating the flow of data information between the different apis that we basically check and we call it integration with ui testing so these all are the uh, all i would say are mostly about the types of api testing that we do and uh, if you want to check out about the what are the different test cases what are the different type of bugs that we encountered in the apis you can check out my other tutorials i'm going to link put it into the description thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video and make sure uh, if you are if you are not new uh, just if you want to check out if you want to learn something new right uh, you can visit uh, you can join scrolltest.com slash uh, what is it learn right of course you want to check it out right and yes definitely visit the learn.testingacademy.com to for some advanced stuff advanced api related as well as rest assured selenium stuff right thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video question that uh, whenever you are attending any kind of api interview push uh, interview